Well, hello there, folks. I got a chance to go up to Goose Creek Reservoir and was looking forward to it because I wanted to get some better quality fish than what I've been catching out of the Cooper River lately. And after a while of searching and trying to figure the pattern out, the puzzle, so to speak, so I came across some schooling fish and you'll see some tips and tricks on how to catch them out at Goose Creek Reservoir throughout this video. Hey guys, how do you like the new subscribe emoji thing here? I'm going to put it across the screen. Since I'm the white ninja, I thought it was appropriate. Pretty cool. away from the dinks but they're following me everywhere hoping to get a good one mm -hmm. I'm sure the wind is bad maybe I'll voice over this but the water I don't know if you can really see it or not I'll, I'll show a picture of it later the water's dirty the wind's blowing and on Goose Creek Reservoir those are two things that I have had not a whole lot of luck with for some reason. So, we'll just keep on trucking. So after about another hour of nothing, I decided to go up to the bridge and fool around that area a bit because you can usually get a couple good bites up there. Well, nothing happened there either. So I decided I would go under the bridge because there were some brush piles under the bridge and I would make a video on catching fish under the bridge looking at my forward-facing sonar and I thought that would be a great idea and I could see some fish on my sonar but I think they were crappie or perch but I just could not get bit hello they're schooling over there good news I finally see some schooling fish I finally make it over there and uh, everything just shut off but I knew that they were in the area so well, fortunately I got this little baby two points how do you like that? How do you like that? I was coming through some pads and I thought it was a pad that got it, but it was a fish and brought it right up in the boat. Yeah, another dink. Well, at least we won't starve. Hey, see if you can figure out what this is. I'd like to think it's an alligator eating something, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, he let go. Another dink, though. Now just stay tuned because you know exactly what's going to happen now. Oh shoot. Dang it. Got my lure hung there and they're schooling all behind me. Dang it. 
Dang it. Come on, that's what I've been waiting for. Hello. Hello with your bad self. They're all over the place. All right, come on, come on, come on. Shouldn't do a long cast because as soon as you do, they'll school up somewhere else right beside you. Yep, right there. That's gotta be bass. I don't know why they don't hit that trap. They used to hit it. Although I do have a different color. I'm gonna start using my swim bait. Oh gosh. There he is. Whatever it is. Oh, I think we got a bass. I think we got a bass. Come on, baby. Oh, he ain't that big. But that's okay. A little schooler. Bang. Mwah. Let's get another one. That's right. going down there. size well he's not that big but compared to what I've been catching yes ah, love school in action mwah, mwah. forgot which one to kiss ah, fatty Man, that's a big area they were schooling in is it over you know it seems like when they're like this you don't catch them unless you throw right on top of them when they're busting bait, you know? Kind of like uh, in other lakes, I guess, when they're chasing blue heron. starting to get late so I decided to go back up toward the bridge to another good schooling area but no luck all right let me tell you what's going on before my battery goes dead on my chesty I got it plugged into an external battery but I swear these things just don't they don't cooperate with me so I never did show you guys a picture of the water but the water here at Goose Creek Reservoir is dirty down where you put in up here at the upper end it's a little clear um, and I'm at a schooling spot it was pretty good last year I'll try to put something in the uh, a card from last year I think toward the end of that video I really get into them schooling right here but anyway just left a good schooling spot I'm gonna give this about a half hour then I'm gonna go back there right before dark Come on. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, they're all over. They're all over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There he is. Oh. Oh yeah. You know, it's just like a man never satisfied, so I want to hurry up and get this one in. Oh, so I get the other ones that's schooling around me. You know, it's just like a man never satisfied, so I want to hurry up and get this one in. Oh, so I get the other 
ones that's schooling around me. There we go. I don't even want to turn the cameras off. Alright, let's go. Right in front of us. That's what we want. Well, the popper was a bad idea. Uh, they just would not come up and hit that. They would not hit the whopper plopper, and they would not hit the trap. But they definitely like that swim bait. It's just funny how they can key in on certain things. But what a great day. What a great way to end the day. Oh, just schooling fish all around you. I appreciate you guys' support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you see me out there, please holler at me.